Pergo flooring, then there was carpet beneath that, and beneath the carpet there was plywood, and beneath the plywood there was this particle board that had some water damage and was really flimsy. We weren't able to get it up. We cut it all with a circular saw down the floor joist, but it was way too flimsy. So the plan was to try to pick it up, but it's not going well, and then flip it over. But I was telling Dad to zig, and he was hearing zag, uh, and I was hoping that we could get it laid on its back, uh, floor side down, comb up to cut the comb off, uh, but the comb's just way too new and fragile. This hive looks like it was uh, started last year and it's about three feet long, but the back side of it was really soft comb, really hard to hold onto. As you guys can see, there's still some white comb there. Uh, big mistake, I'm gonna lose a comb right out of there and uh, it gets worse from here. Don't do it this way. <laughs>
outside on the rail of the truck up against the house. Uh, bees all exited out and fanned the entrance. We got back from lunch a couple hours later. The queen had already exited and was inside the box. They're all in their finding home now. Thanks for watching. Bye.